Picture this. It's Saturday night, you're all dressed up, and you don't know where you're gonna go yet. You don't want your regular bush light tall boy. You want a handcrafted cocktail made with care and love. Well, look no further than Ari's Lounge. They are serving up the best martinis that the Cedar Valley has to offer. They've got the vibes, they've got the love, they've got the music. And we're gonna go cozy up with a cocktail and talk to Ari herself and figure out a little bit more about what this lounge has to offer. Hi, I'm Cassidy Atchison, and this is Lots to Do in downtown Waterloo. so she can tell us a little bit more about Ari's, starting with, um, where'd the name come from, Ari? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so my name is Ari, um, and my parents decided to name our business after me. Um, the origin kind of began when I was growing up. My mom has always been a bartender, and she always um, said, oh, I want to have my own bar. I could just see your name in cursive. And um, after putting so much work into other people's businesses and putting so much time into the industry, my dad decided it was time for us to put our work to use for ourselves. So um, they brought it to life. And um, yeah, so the this, the name Ari's, the way that it's spelled out is my mom's handwriting. Um, writing Stop it, is it really? My, yes. <laughs> um, the way she writes my name. Um, yeah, so that's kind of how it was birthed. My mom always pictured it. She always had a dream, and my dad kind of just helped bring it to life. And um, so he built everything here, um, put it all together, and then my mom and I run the businesses. So, what's it feel like to have a, a lounge named after you? Not oh, two lounges because you guys yeah. have ones in Cedar Falls too. We do. Um, it. I don't know. It's just I'm so used to it now. It's a blessing. Absolutely. Like I feel. I'm blessed that my parents are building generational wealth for me. Um, I have a built-in job at this point, regardless of you know <laughs> what happens with anything else. So I feel very grateful um, to have it. It feels great, but uh, I usually don't like mentioning it. So <laughs> I did that for you. Don't worry, today. I mentioned it for you. I mentioned it for you. <laughs> uh, what do you What do you love about this place the most? Your favorite part of the, of the lounge? Yeah, so my favorite part about the lounge, I guess, is probably the cozy feel of it. So um, we try to bring a different vibe than than your average um, establishment, not to say that there's anything wrong with it, but we want to kind of have the sit down vibe where people feel comfortable to conversate. Um, we play smooth jazz music and uh, we don't do sports, we don't do politics, any of those things. It's just good vibes, good music. Um, that's kind of our slogan. Um, <laughs> and not drinks as usual. So we also off offer craft martinis, um, which um, we really take pride in, in, mm. in our drinks. And we also, again, with it being not drinks as usual, uh, we like to use different glasses, not a standard martini glass. Yeah. Um, but I guess in a long way, my favorite thing about the lounge is the vibe of the lounge. I love um, it. And kind of how we have things it's set up. It's all about the vibes. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so obviously you guys have martinis and like craft cocktails. Yeah. Um, what else do you have? Like, do you have a full bar? Do you have like bottles of beer? Like what else do you guys have? Yeah, so while martinis is our specialty, that's what um, we specialize in, we do have a full bar. Uh, ranging with pretty much everything that uh, most bars offer. We also do have select options for beer, wine, pretty much everything. But again, martinis is our signature thing. What about food? Because I don't know about you, but when I start having a few drinks, I need me a little snacky. Absolutely. So yeah, we have um, several different hors d'oeuvres. We, we have our most popular item is our cheesy spinach and artichoke dip. People come in and get to-go's and take it home. We do meatballs, veggie spring rolls, and um, as of recent, we've been putting our popcorn in from another one of our establishments um, for people to purchase and have while they're drinking, because popcorn with drinks is <laughs> yeah. a perfect match, right? The wine, the popcorn, the yeah. martini, it's a vibe. Obviously, there's desperately a need for like downtown life in Waterloo. So then what would you say is like your favorite thing about being in downtown Waterloo as opposed to I don't know, setting up something like this in like Chicago? Yeah, um, well, Waterloo is my home, all of our homes. We all were raised in Waterloo, so it feels good for us to be giving back to our city, hmm. um, the city that gave to us and made us who we are. Um, so being downtown spe specifically is 
just really important to me as I grew up downtown uh, with my mom's hair salon being here. We live nearby. Um, and obviously after things like the flood and all that, to see the downtown go kind of downhill, but then to be a part of helping to try to bring it back um, even years later is a big deal to me. Um, so I, I just really appreciate being down here and being able to put back into downtown um, and be a part of the community downtown uh, with all the other businesses as well. So we, we try to all support each other um, and, and that's special. So if somebody were to wander into Ari's tonight and you hope that they leave with like one thing, what's the one thing you hope that they leave with other than like a high blood alcohol content? Oh, I was just gonna say, <laughs> their drinks are so strong. But um, aside from that, I, I want them to feel like they have a safe place to come to. Um, I love that. <laughs> uh, I love it when you guys say that. Yeah, but absolutely. We, we like to make sure all of our customers feel at home and feel safe. I mean, you, you go out and you want to feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, and we want to provide that place for people to get away from home, but still feel at home at the same time. I, you know, Dak King said the same thing when I interviewed with them and I like, I said it and I'll say it again. Like it's so important, especially like as a queer woman Absolutely. to like find places where I can go with my girlfriend and like feel comfortable. And I don't feel like somebody's going to make me feel like unwanted there. Absolutely. So that was a great answer, man. Yeah. I love that you guys are down for it. This is like another, I keep like collecting places. That I'm yeah, gonna, like, go you gotta come try. Night. Yes, yeah, absolutely. We absolutely, we don't stand for any talent to make anyone feel comfortable. That's why we, we try to keep, you know, conversations that aren't meant for the bar, outside of the bar. Dude, you yeah, know, no it's politics, no time and place for that. And it's not here, it's not at Ari, so. So you guys have a full bar and you said, I know you said people come in to get the spin dip to go. Mm -hmm. Do you guys also do drinks to go? We do um, offer drinks to go. So that was something that was really big for us during COVID. Mm -hmm. um, we set it up in such a smooth way where people could just call ahead and then uh, we'd bring it to the door and they didn't even come all the way in. Um, we were safe, you know, we made sure we did things right, but our to goes we still offer to this day. Um, and kind of, we call them our adult Capri Suns. It's like a little pouch which we put a shot in. So yeah, uh, to goes are really big. People still will call ahead and order to goes or drop in and order to goes and take them home with them. So you're saying I can like roll, I can roll up and ask for like my martini and you put it in a little Capri Sun bag and yep. I pop my straw in. And when I, you're home, yes. Pop when you're your home. straw okay. in okay. when okay. you're That's home. That's good to know, that's good to know. <laughs> yes. Pop the straw in when I'm home. Okay, so of the martinis that you guys make then, what is your favorite? Ooh, so I'm gonna say three. Okay because there's different types of martinis. So for a classic, I like a dirty martini, extra dirty, lots okay. of olives. Okay. Um, as far as like a sweeter, fruitier drink, the Ocean, which is our signature martini, mm -hmm. which you might see a little bit about mm -hmm. um, later. It's actually the one that's in our um, in our logo. Um, it's blue in, in the glass, so. Yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> my favorite of the like desserty drinks is probably the Campfire, which kind of like a s'more with a toasted marshmallow. It's wonderful. Uh, okay, the campfire sounds good, but since the Ari's Ocean is on the sign, can we, we definitely have to make one of those. Absolutely. So can we head over and make one of those? Yeah, let's go ahead and head behind the bar with my mom and she'll make you one. Okay, great. Alright, so we're here at Ari's with Helen and she is going to teach me how to make the Ari's Ocean because I would rather be on an ocean than here in Iowa with any more of this weather. So, Helen, what's first? Um, okay, you'll take your um, take your glass and rim it. Okay. So I chose uh, the pink sprinkles. I don't know if this goes with the Ari's Ocean. Yes, it but goes they called fun. to me. And okay. then let's see, Helen's gonna do sprinkles. Okay. Okay. Hold on, let me get a little more on the plate. Oh. That's okay, you can leave it out. That's fine. Okay, leave it out. We're gonna leave it out. Okay, what's next? Okay, you'll take your um, rum. Okay. And do a six count pour in your rum. Six? Okay. Good? Yep. Okay. And then take your um, blue, blue and then do six counts okay. of your blue. Okay. This and then you'll take your like pineapple like juice. Okay, and pineapple goes in the shaker? Yep. Okay. To the top? That's good. Good? Yep. Then you shake it real good. Shake it for quite a while, because the whole secret to it is to have it frothy. Frothy? Yes. That's what makes your martini the best. Okay. okay. Starbucks prepared me for this. Right, definitely oh, yeah. Starbucks. <laughs> and then just everything goes right in? Yep, everything goes right in. Yep, and then take your pink umbrella, since it matches the pink. Okay. 
I'll say thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't pour quite as much. All right. And then when you don't get that froth on it, you just break it back down and put it back over there. All right. Woo! What do you think? That's, I was not expecting to like that with so much liquor, but this is great. It's good stuff. <laughs> this is great. Well, Helen, thank you for the drink. Thank you for having us. The Ari's Ocean definitely makes me want to be in the Caribbean, but I will definitely take this lounge any day. This is a great place to be with a beverage. I can't wait to come here with my friends. So the next time you're out in downtown Waterloo, you gotta stop by and see Ari and Helen, have you in Ari's Ocean, a little spin dip, and then take you a cocktail to go because there is lots to do in downtown Waterloo.